Everyone, I'm David Carroll and I'm Cindy Saxton. Parents and alumni are upset over a picture that shows students holding up two jerseys before last week's high school football game between Grundy and Sequatchie counties. The jerseys being held in this picture by Sequatchie County players on senior night reportedly represent two of the five players charged last year in Grundy County with attempted aggravated rape. Now those players then at Grundy County High School were accused of assaulting a freshman football player in the team field house. Channel 3's Casey Freeman tells us where the court cases stand. The Grundy County Sheriff's Office says the juvenile court case for the former Grundy County High School players has been adjudicated, which means a decision has been made. Now those case files are sealed due to the age of those students involved. An alumna of Sequatchie County High School says that she's upset that the victim who still plays for Grundy County had to watch those students be honored. Multiple sources and team rosters confirm two Grundy County football players charged with aggravated attempted rape are on the field this year for Sequatchie County. Due to that, when Grundy and Sequatchie played um, them, the attackers were not allowed to play in the game. Sequatchie County's head football coach Mark Wattenberger tells Channel 3 he was told the players could not take the field against the team they were accused of assaulting last year. He would not say who made that call. Pictures taken by parents show students holding up the jerseys of those two absent players to honor the transferred players on senior night. I just think it was disrespectful to the family and the young man that was sexually assaulted for him to have to see that. Channel 3 spoke to several Sequatchie County graduates like Kirstie who were upset it was allowed to happen. He has people that support him and I'm glad that he still got on that field and played and um, I hope that he's handling everything very well. Wattenberger told Channel 3 he did not know what we were talking about when we asked about the jerseys. Director of Schools Michael Watford told Channel 3 the picture speaks for itself. Kirstie questions if the player should be allowed to take the field in other games. If the teammates moved here, maybe they didn't tell what they were, you know, their charges were against them. They just wanted to move, get a fresh start. TSSAA rules say if a student is eligible to attend school, they are eligible to play any sport. The two players are eligible because they were not expelled from Grundy County when criminal charges were filed, but ordered to finish last year through homebound education, allowing for this year's transfer. The Sequatchie County head football coach says all players involved in the incident will play at this Friday night game against Upperman. In Sequatchie County, Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.